In this video, I'm going to explain how we know when to use me gusta and how we know when to use me gustan in Spanish. Okay, so me gusta means I like in English, um, but in Spanish we have two different versions. If we like something singular, for example, the book, el libro, we simply say me gusta el libro, I like the book. If, however, it's something plural that we like, for example, books, um, i.e. more than one, we have to add an N to the end, resulting in me gustan los libros. Uh, it's not just for I like, it's for all the other people as well. For example, te gusta el libro, you like the book. Le gusta el libro, he or she likes the book. Nos gusta el libro, we like the book. Os gusta el libro, you plural like the book. And finally, les gusta el libro, they like the book. And in the plural column, you can see every single time, as it's about more than one book, we've had to add an N to the end. So it's really important to um, think very carefully about what the thing is that you are saying that you like. And if it's singular, then we just leave me gusta as it is, with an A on the end. For example, me gusta la sandía. Um, I like the watermelon. If, though, it's something plural, such as popcorn, because there's more than one piece of popcorn, then we have to add an N to the end, resulting in me gustan. Here's another example. Me gusta el gato. I like the cat, just one cat. Versus, me gustan los gatos. I like the cats, or I like cats, more than one cat. Here's a real-life example. Me gustan los poemas y me gusta la vida. This means in English, I like the poems and I like life. Now in English, we use I like for both of them. But because um, poems is plural, the Spanish has to add an N to the end, resulting in me gustan los poemas. Whereas life is a singular noun, so we leave it simply as me gusta la vida. Have a look at these sentences and try and decide whether you would put gusta or gustan in the gap. So have a look at what comes after the gap and try and think, is it a singular thing or is it a plural thing? Press pause and then uh, press play again when you're ready to see the answers. So here are the answers. Number one, me gusta jugar al fútbol, which means I like playing football. Um, now, jugar is a verb, um, an infinitive verb, and with those, we always just use the, the first version of me gusta. Um, number two, le gustan los libros. Um, this one, we've got a plural thing, books. So we have to add an N to the end of gusta, resulting in le gustan los libros. He or she likes the books. The third one, nos gusta el tenis. We like tennis. Now, tennis is a singular thing. So we leave gusta without the N. Um, try not to get confused here and think that it's um, we, so it must be plural. It's just simply tennis, which is a singular thing, so we do not need the N. Uh, the fourth one, le gusta el zumo. He or she likes the juice. Once again, juice is a singular thing, so we just use gusta. Number five, me gustan los conciertos. I, um, I like concerts. Concerts is plural, so we need gustan. Number six is very similar to number one. Les gusta beber agua con gas. They like to drink wa um, water with, with gas, so fizzy water. Once again, beber is an infinitive verb, so we just use gusta. And the final one, me gusta la música. I like music. Music is a singular noun, so we simply use gusta. There are um, a number of other verbs in Spanish which behave in the same way as me gusta. Um, and here are three that you may have seen before or that you will be seeing quite shortly. So me encanta, meaning I love. Once again, with this verb, if it's something singular that you love, we leave the A on the end. But if it's something plural, you must add the N. Me fascina, like I'm fascinated um, by. If it's something singular, leave it with an A. If it's something plural, you must add the N. And another um, one that acts in a similar way is me duele, saying it hurts me. So if something singular is hurting, for example, one arm, leave the E. However, if it's something plural, like both of your arms are hurting, then you need to add an N to the end.